So I've had a bit of a uh, busy week, to say the least. We've had like a couple birthday events and we've celebrated it over like three or four days with different groups of friends and all sorts of opportunities have been going on on the side. Uh, but there was something that I got to enjoy that was quite a interesting experience. See, when I was born and when I grew up from like the ages three till eight, so for like five, six years ish there, I lived in London. I lived in a North London in a little spot called Chingford. That is where my childhood, or at least part of it, the really early years uh, took place. And since then, I moved way off to the east, to the east coast. And then after that, I moved way off to like the, the west. And even when I moved out of my mum's place, I moved halfway to where I was towards London. I never fully came back to London itself. However, on uh, October 8th, it was my girlfriend's birthday. And for it, we decided that we were going to go to London in order for Kezuchi to go and get her hair dyed and do a, a funky little thing with that. The only downside to that was the fact that there, the process would end up taking six and a half hours to do, which meant I had a good bit of free time and therefore I did something a little, a little special, a little funky, a little fun. Anyway, for this uh, break in time I had, I essentially decided I'm going to go and revisit my old childhood town. And so I did. And I'm going to show you just a few pictures of it. Have you ever tried to navigate London before? This is the London Underground, or at least a portion of it. It was a bit of a, a shuffle. This It's a bit diagonal. But uh, we, at the time, were like down in Beth? Beth Normal, I think it was called? Um, just like central London-ish tech place. Where even is it? There it is. Beth Normal Green. That's where we are. This little spot here. And I had to go all the way up. Uh, up this, up here, right to the very top of this line, zone number five, Chingford. And it was just a really funky, strange experience. You know, it started off as you do, you know, I got on the train, but eventually we did indeed make it into Chingford. And it's very strange going back to a place because I hadn't been there in like 15 years. Like it's been a long time. I got, I got, I got my pictures now. So I've got a handful that are physical and I've also got a chunk that are uh, digital as well. First things first, let me show you a picture. So I went to London basically with all sorts of uh, childhood pictures. Uh, but this first one I did want to address. So I thought it'd be really cool to do one of those things where you like, you try and go back to your place and either line it up or, uh, or recreate it as an adult. I was just by myself. So kind of weird to do, so I decided not to do that. However, when I was at the age of seven or eight, I lived this house. Excuse the fact that I am a topless boy, but uh, I think this was how old was I? My, oh, I'm 10? Oh Jesus, I had more access to this house for longer than I thought. Uh, but this is like one of my birthday events. Just outside in the garden, a few people of my friends, hanging out, you know, like a 10 year old boy you generally does. I could have sworn I was a nine. Um, here's another angle of said garden. Had a lovely, technically not even my garden. I lived above, I lived upstairs to some people. Um, that's me. I'm the jolly bouncing one here. I had, I used to be so full of energy and happiness. I don't know what happened. Also, I had a very much a London look. I had a lot of, a lot of shaved hair. But I decided to go back to this house. Now, you could only see the garden with those pictures and you're not going to, have to see the garden in 2021 because I was... It's creepy enough as it is walking around someone's house, but this is uh, 2005, so I was eight years old here, on a lovely bad hair day, right outside the front door. It's a little overexposed because it's an old camera, but hey, I was again, bit of a jolly kid. You could see a smile, but also the slowly marching approach of just, you know, complete neutrality in all of my expressions. It was coming slowly, but you can see by the house layout, there's brick along the edges, and then a big old slab of concrete at the bottom. Now this house I was curious about because we actually got kicked out of the house because our landlord had illegally split it into two flats, whereas it was only supposed to be one, he did it illegally. Um, so I was like, I wonder if they've uh, taken down the house, if they've fixed any of it. Well, I found out my answer when I come over to here, this is the house in 2021. Is it creepy that I took the picture of a front of a house? Maybe. I, yeah, I'm sorry. I lived here. 
I thought really fascinating. You know, the house is exactly the same. You can see the brickwork, it all lines up. And I thought that's fantastic. Also kind of creepy that the landlord didn't get to, uh, to you know, didn't actually destroy the house. I'm curious if it's still two tenants. I didn't get to find out and I wasn't going to ask. I was curious to knock, but I'm a very awkward in guy. But you can see with the hint of a uh, stone over here, that is indeed the same stone. It's all there. Like the, my memories are connecting. I know what that wall tastes like. Don't ask how I know. I just do. That wall along the side here continues along. And you can see, wow, I lived there once as a young 10 year old four foot dude. That was me. I thought it was very cool. I wasn't able to stick around very long because I think it might be a bit of a suspicious area, like a suspicious residence illegally housing in because technically we were, although we didn't know it or the landlord didn't tell us or whatever. But the neighbors very quickly started stepping out the door and like giving me eyes because I was lingering a, a hit too long because I was trying to like look through my photos and see if anything lined up. I mean, it's not a very good picture to, to like, I didn't have any wide angles, unfortunately. Like this isn't much of a wide angle and I didn't want to get that close to take a picture. So I just didn't. But you know, if you want another example of that same wall, there it is, same birthday. I have my shirt on, wow. I uh, thought so it was very cool. It was like a very strange, nostalgic moment I had. However, a bit of a weird example. I literally stalked a, a house in London that didn't move. Kind of creepy. Fair enough. That That's my and me. Slightly creepy. However, there is a photo that's a bit more interesting to look at at the very least. Because I, once once upon a time, I went to preschool. Can you believe that? I, uh, I remember going to a sports day when I was four. In fact, I have the... Uh, I have the pictures in full, like, framed imagery to go with it. It was just a tiny little building in the middle of a field. And it just, you know, it was just like a nice little place where I had a brief little preschool moment. So I went back to this field, my only going by pure childhood nostalgia to find where I was. And I found this tiny little building in the middle of nowhere. And I thought, wow, okay, that is it. I'll get a look, you know, look around the field a bit. This is looking to the right. This is looking zoomed in. The, ha the, the building looks a little bit decrepit, I realized, as I walked closer and closer to it. This is to the left now. But I do have my two pictures of this preschool where I had a sports day once. And I helped a teacher with computer technology issues at the age of four. Because apparently, I don't know where I picked it up from, but I apparently knew what I was doing. I was destined for greatness. And then I realized, ah, these pictures do in fact line up with this background. Here is picture number one. It's a lovely young little me, just on sports day in a lovely dose of green with just some fields behind me. Isn't that lovely? Ah, oh, very, very cute. I don't know what went wrong over time, but I did. That is me. Now you know. <laughs> this second picture is the main one that I, wanted to, I was interested in. It's me mid motion running. And you can very clearly see the house and trees behind us and they do in fact line up, what do you know, with the houses and trees behind us in real life. It's like houses and trees don't move. And I was like, you know, standard thing to go through, but I still was very, very like, oh, wow, I can actually line up a photo. It could be very, very nice. And so I gave it a couple of goes. In fact, I did this for an embarrassingly long amount of time. I remembered also in that moment, the sort of poopy design of the mud on this field for some reason, I don't know. But I then got closer to this preschool, only to find out, oh, it's already for a start a West, West Essex sports club. That's not how I remember it as. It's got all sorts of tags on it. Everyone knows the classic S. And over here, I don't know if I did it in the next picture. I might have done. Oh boy. Over here, it's a dangerous, unsafe structure and i was like wow this place has really fallen apart in the 20 odd years i haven't been here i think these are dated these are dated at 2001 so i literally came back 20 years later but then i looked again and you can actually see kind of the uh the little concrete block here used to be perpendicular and there it is there this tree is indeed that tree and this house is this house and i was like okay bit weird that it's turned to the side who on earth did that why is there a wheelbarrow crusher thing either way i'm gonna try a million times to get it synced up in some form i kind of have here actually you can see the tree just sort of spouts up but you can't see any of the house maybe i should try a 
video version. I also tried to link up this one. Kind of hard to do, I'll admit. I thought, it to me at least, it's a very cool thing to do. I'm literally stood in the middle of a field on a, on a gloomy London day. Dog walkers passing by, a guy cutting the grass, thinking I'm a big old weirdo. But to me, I'm in my own little happy bubble, trying to sync up this picture of me, and then syncing it back to reality. I was very, very briefly going to go and like see if I could take a picture of like the uh, primary school playground where I took some like group pictures to be like, ah, oh, this is what it looks like now. You can't take pictures of a primary school, obviously. Um, I I kind of I picked up that social cue real quick when I saw there were kids in said playground. Although the way our school worked is it was like a big cross-shaped building, and then over the the higher you are in a year, the more around it you go. Um, and at the very front was the nursery. Um, and so I walked past the primary school because it's on route to like the field anyway, and I saw the nursery kids were all running around, but all the rest of the school was dead quiet. And to be fair, it was like half past one, so they were probably in class. But to get, you can't just walk into like the nursery because I was oh, into the uh, reception um, because I was thinking, oh, maybe I will go to the staff and say, hey, you know, do you have any uh, teachers that have been around for like 20 years? Because I was a student here 20 years ago. Maybe I will recognize, you know, this one adult in my group picture uh, at school, uh, you know, and uh, like I could do a reunion thing. But to actually get to the door, nice and secure, uh, the big gate is shut and you have to press a button to call them to get attention. I wasn't already, I already wasn't sure if the school part was open, but I was too socially awkward to actually press the button and go through. So I just walked right past, which was awkward, annoying, but also I didn't have a lot of time in London. I had six and a half hours, but I, it, it ran away very quickly. I, I did have this picture of me on a bike. Oh, I guess it is there at a car park, but I couldn't find actually exactly where it is, but my childhood house is actually one of the ones behind it. It was a different house. This is the picture I got of a car park, very interesting, but I think they got rid of the garages. Another one that you clearly can't do, especially on a random Friday afternoon. Bit of an obvious one. I didn't do it, don't worry. That's me. That's me as a lovely kid with apparently a stain on my forehead. I think that's the photo. At a playground. Don't take pictures at a playground. It might have been a fantastically nostalgic super tall slide that you remember. Don't take pictures in a 2021 playground. What I could do, however, the playground was surrounded by a field with me posing like this, apparently. Lovely. I have a long tongue. You can't see it in the picture. And I had a very reminiscent time in 2002 with this. Did you guys ever have this? A one stick or a one barred scooter. No one else I knew could ride it, but I could. <laughs> I got bullied at the skate park over the years, but you can totally tell. But what I could able to do is while I couldn't take pictures of a playground full of kids, I could take a picture of myself going towards said park in its little like grassy area. And I could briefly uh, take a picture of the current field on just a gloomy London day where one of those pictures was taken. There it is. You know how they say like your childhood memory is always a lot like rosy? I think it's because I literally have memories and photos from nice sunny days and then I come back to it 20 years later. It's just a bit doom and gloom, but uh, that's what it is. But either way, that was my brief dosage into an innocent childhood, you know, adventure. As much as walking around as a 25 year old man into a random suburban spot in London with literal pictures of a child. The child is me. I am the child. <laughs> it's fine. But, you know, if a police officer approached me too much, I probably could have been in a bit of trouble. So, thankfully, I didn't get arrested in London. A couple weird looks from some very overprotective parents, and one tenant that might have been a little bit more suspicious considering how quick they were to pop out of their front door. So, I mean, they were window, uh, what's the word? Window twirlers? Win win uh, curtain twirlers? I don't know. I was there for like a minute or two and they were already out in the middle of the afternoon on a random Friday. So I'm curious how they were already keeping an eye on me. But, but yeah, so that was my adventure to my childhood town. Wasn't as innocent, lovely as I would have, you know, wasn't as beautiful as it could have been. What can you do? But yes, that was my exploration into a little bit of 
childhood me. Figured I'd show it off. And that also that innocent little lingering around Chingford. Eventually, I hopped back on the train, went back, joined Kezuchi. She got some new hair, and then we headed back home to Brighton to celebrate her birthday. And that was the end of all that. So there you are. There's a little update. And also, you know, when we were back in Chingford 20 years ago, we moved. I aged. And eventually, a few steps in between, now we're here. And that's how that story all comes round together.